Hi everyone, another exciting year of the Zen Made uh, Made Conference. I'm excited to be here for the third year in a row. Um, this is a great thing that Amar puts together. I think it speaks volumes about him and the Zen Made team and and uh, what they think about our community and you know it's why we work so well together. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to be here. I'm glad to bring you uh, just another quick tip. And this is something that nobody really talks about. It's kind of painful to me. Um, and it took me years to learn. So what I'm hoping is that you can just walk away with a couple nuggets out of this. Um, and, and this helps your business better, or at least gives you the mindset that, okay, this is something I need to pay attention to. Um, because I didn't have that when I started my cleaning business. Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Ray Malaski. I owned and operated Maids in a Minute. Um, it was named something different before that because uh, this was before online booking. But I did that for about 10 years uh, as I worked my full-time job. I ended up selling that business and then starting up Get Cleaning Clicks, which is my marketing company that focuses solely on marketing for cleaning businesses and working with cleaning business owners and helping them achieve their goals through uh, sales and marketing. Um, this is my fifth year in business, uh, fourth year full time. So this is the only thing that I do that earns uh, revenue for my for myself and my family. And I absolutely love what I do. So I would never change that which I'm sure a lot of you are in that same place and congratulations because it's definitely an uphill battle to get there. So um, here's why your leads suck and how to fix it. When I started many years ago, um, it was all about lead generation. I got to get leads. I got to get leads. I got to get leads. Uh, those lead, then it was about sales. I got to get leads. Then I got to turn those leads into sales. Then it was about delivering. And, and now I got to actually clean those homes. And now I got to hire, um, you know, fast forward. Now <clears throat> I've really been racking my brain. Like, you know, the, the beautiful thing about being a niche down marketing company, uh, we only work with cleaning businesses. Um, is it allows me to kind of pull these pain points out that are uh, not everybody knows about, but uh, they're extremely beneficial to your business. Uh, and this is one of them. Um, I can't tell you, I've, I've probably helped three, 400 cleaning businesses um, over, you know, Six years, you know, I did this part time for a while too while I was working my maid service. And, and especially early in the beginning, we did a lot of startup. So, you know, they were just kind of getting things going. And they would come to me and say, Ray, can you get me leads? Yep, absolutely. I can get you leads. Um, even more so now, I had a proven system. And my proven system was literally just give me money, we'll set up our campaigns, and bam, you're going to get leads. So now you got to close them and deliver on them. Uh, but we had a lot of churn with customers like that. And we would get somebody that says, okay, let's try a thousand bucks. And then, you know, next thing you know, they're inundated with all these leads and they can't deliver the service or um, they don't have uh, proper tools in place to, uh, to manage them. So now I had to go out and figure, how can I solve this problem? Because there are a ton of CRMs. Some of them are amazing, like ZenMade. Um, which they actually do capture the lead within the system. Some of them don't. Um, so I had to figure out how do we solve this universal problem. I went out and I looked at different software solutions that are out there. Um, you know, and they just don't cut it. Like they're not made for the cleaning industry. Um, Infusionsoft being one of them, it's not made for the cleaning industry. Uh, it's not made to really handle all your leads. It's just an email marketing software and that's it. And, and in today, in 2021, email marketing alone is not enough. You need, one, you need a center for all your leads to come into. Two, you've got to hit them with different things. So your email, text messages, 
uh, manual follow-ups, manual phone calls. Um, when you send review requests, you've got to send more than one because how many times, uh, true, uh, you usually answer your text messages or see them right away, but how important is that to you to remember to follow through with that? So maybe it's Friday, you're on your way home after work, and then bam, they're saying, hey, can you please leave me a, a review about your cleaning uh, this month? And you're like, yeah, I got more important things to do. Well, tomorrow, Saturday, we're going to send you another one because those reviews are so important. These are all the kind of things like that just get missed by a lot of different things. So, so we had to find a solution for that. And the first thing I had to do was actually put a plan together of what does the client journey look like? Um, I know uh, Mike from Simple Growth does some of this for uh, uh, Service Autopilot. Um, you know, and he does a fantastic job too, but I needed something for my clients that weren't using Service Autopilot and that needed um, that kind of solution and that kind of level of detail. So I sat down with a couple clients, I asked them a bunch of questions, um, and then came up with basically like a uh, uh, 365 degree multi-message marketing campaign and funnel for them. It sounds crazy, right? And then when you look at this, you're probably like, oh my God, what is all this stuff that Ray is doing? Well couple things here. Uh, one, the beautiful thing is I'll do it for you. You don't have to do it. Of course, you got to pay me, but I'll do it for you. Um, however, if you're tech savvy and you have the ability and you have the time, which I hope to God most of you don't because you're so busy um, living your life. Uh, but but if you happen to if you happen to be that kind of person, here it is. This is this is my roadmap. Um <laughs> and I'm going to walk you through the roadmap. And this is this is where we we fail our leads. We we fail them because we don't have a sales system in place, or that sales system isn't refined, or the sales system isn't thorough enough. Um, you know, interesting uh, stats here. Give me one second here. I, I dug in and got some research. Uh, it's generalized research, so it's not necessarily pertaining to just the cleaning industry. Um, but the, the things that I read and you know this is across many verticals w was mind-blowing and this also supported the need to do follow-ups and there's a few of them in here that really will blow your mind and you know I don't know if uh, this pertains and we're working on getting the data just for the cleaning industry so eventually I'll have all this nailed down to what we see across you know a hundred different cleaning companies and we'll be able to see what those percentages are. But why are follow-ups important? 63% of all consumers requesting info on your company today will not purchase for the next three months. 63%. So you've got a hundred leads coming in. 63 of those are not ready to buy for three months, but yet you're emailing them, you're following up, you're sending them text messages, you're calling them. They're not ready. They're just simply not ready. So it doesn't necessarily matter what you do. They're not ready to buy from you. So now what are you going to do? You've got to hit them on that three-month mark. Um, is a, is a uh, happy Mother's Day email enough for that? Probably not, honestly. It really isn't. You, you've got to send a text message. You've got to send more than one email. Uh, and that email's got to talk to that person about your services and why you. Uh, chances are 
out of those 100 leads, 20, 30 of them are shopping multiple companies. So how many other companies have them in their funnel and they're marketing to them? You've got to be better than them. And this is your opportunity to be better and showcase your company's value. 79% of marketing leads never convert into sales. Lack of nurture is the main cause of this. 70, 79%. And this is why in the beginning when I did marketing, all those companies would come on, we'd inundate them with leads, and they were gone. They're like, hey, I can't do this. i got to shut off the Google Ads campaign. Um, and that's because we didn't have a system in place for that nurture. So me as a marketer, I'm thinking, I just got to get them leads. That's all I got to do. I got to get them leads. It's their job to close them. I mean, if we want this to work, this is a partnership. It's got to be both of us. Only 3% of your market is actively buying. 56% are not ready. 40% are posed to begin. So that means <laughs> when somebody comes into your funnel, what part of the buyer's journey are they on? Are they on an awareness stage, a decision, or a consideration stage? <sighs> it's very important that when you get them into the funnel that they're going into the right segment so that you're marketing to them correctly. Approximately 96% of website visitors aren't ready to buy. Um, now, I know for a fact already in the maid service industry that uh, it, it's probably more of an on-demand service, meaning when people um, do visit your website, by that time, they're probably closer to buying. So, again, these were... Uh, these were by HubSpot, the largest uh, CRM company. Um, out there that has the greatest uh, set of data across all the verticals. Again, I'm not looking to be them. I, I just want to know what's going on in the cleaning industry. That's all I care about. Uh, why do people need a sales process? So let's let's talk about it. So you have Infusionsoft. That's great. Emails are going. Wow. Um, how does that affect your sales process? Do you have a sales pipeline? Do you even know what a sales pipeline is? Um, and how are you making sure those leads are getting followed up with in that cycle? How do you know the person answering your phone is going to call them three or four times? Uh, so those are important things to have. 95% of all converted leads are reached by the six call attempt. Let that sit in for a minute. 95% of all converted leads, so these are leads that convert into um, a buyer, are reached by the sixth call attempt. So how many phone calls are you making? One? None? Uh, are you making six? I highly doubt it. Highly, highly doubt it. And, and do you have automations to help you follow up with this so you're not the one manually doing all the six calls or the six touch points. 63% of consumers requesting info on your company today will not purchase for the last three months. We already talked about that. 92% of sales people give up after no sale on the fourth call. 92% of all the people out there after the fourth call, they're done. They're done. So what's going to make you different? How hungry are you for that lead? Two more phone calls. That's that's what it takes. 60% of consumers say no four times before saying yes. So you got them on the phone? Nope, nope, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ah, my wife found somebody. Uh, I think we know in the cleaning industry what really sets companies apart is... Uh, the experience the consumer has with you and your cleaning techs. Do they love the person cleaning their home? Do they love the systems that you've created when you train that person to clean their home and the results? We know that there's a lot of client churn in the industry with companies that do half-assed jobs and that are just starting out and you know they don't even know how to do a quality control check or they don't know how to do the training so, but they have somebody doing, spitting the leads out to them like I used to back in the day. Um, you know, be different. 
be that company that's there when they're ready. And how do you do that? Through lead nurturing, through automation. That's how you do this. Through sales, through communication, through follow-up. That's what you need in your life, you know? So you're sitting in the office, phone rings, hi, this is this is Joe from Joe's Cleaning. Um, she's like, okay, I need a cleaning on Friday. Here's the size of my home. How much is it? You give the quote, you hang up, you're done. Where's that lead going? They're not ready to book. They didn't book. Where's that lead going in your business and what are you doing with it? When that lead entered your business, it came through a phone call. Do you have a process to push that phone call into your system so that you know, hey, I need five more touch points with that consumer? What are you doing? And I'm not talking about five emails, like one a month for the next five months. I mean, you need, you've got a window of time of about approximately 28 days uh, to convert them. So what are you going to do to pound them with your value or your offer, whatever it is? It depends, you know, on your situation, how busy you are. Uh, if you need the business, you can put in an offer, those kind of things. So... This is the main reason why people fail. It's because they don't have this in their system. I'm going to show you. Uh, this is this is my sales pipeline in our system. So Book in sixty is our, the system we use. Um, <clears throat> I'm not really selling this as a standalone yet. We will be eventually. Uh, right now, it's only for my customers, and the results we have are freaking fabulous so you can see I can see everybody who's in the pipeline what their dollar value is worth and uh, whether I won or lost them and I can see this on a, on a uh, date range a day range I can see the activity what pages they visited on my site and then the people that I have in these early phases like prospect or strategy session there's automations firing that make it look like i'm all over them like i'm i'm on you like white on rice while i'm doing nothing while i'm recording this and somebody fills out a web form you'll see it so uh you need this in your life you've got to have this if you really if you really want to fine tune your business and have a fine oiled machine when you go to sell and when you have something in place like this you know you're getting the leads. You know how you're getting the leads. You've got somebody to, that created that system for you, and you know how you're closing them and following up with them, and you're building your database. If you go back to our my old, my, my very first Made Summit talk when we were kind of figuring this all out, um, which, by the way, ZenMade, if you go to ZenMade.com forward slash magazine, they have all the speakers' profiles and including mine, and uh, I just found this out today, they actually have some pretty interesting stuff. So they actually went to the web and found like videos that I've done with other people. Uh, see, there's me and Mike right there. Um, myself and Angela, I was on her show. Um, and then this is the first one, your marketing mindset. If you guys didn't watch your marketing mindset and your kind of stuck in your business with marketing, watch that. It'll it'll factory reset your mind. It'll give you the path which you have to flow to get there. Uh, there's a couple other cool links too, but but they have this not only for myself, but, but other people as well. Um, so again, more, more, more valuable information. Now, now that I've told you this, what do we do with this? So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put a link in my bio here. I don't have it yet, so I can't show you what it is. Uh, where is it? Where is my talk? Okay. I'm going to put a link in my bio that will at least give you the hot lead follow-up. So I'm going to allow you guys to download these emails, and you could it buy minimum set up an email funnel to send out the hot lead follow-up sequence that I'm going to that I'm going to give you over a 14-day range 
Now you could you could do this. I suggest to do it over a 28 day range, but what we have is just for 14 days um, that you guys can just swipe and deploy. Uh, change change the content up however you like. You know it's yours to do whatever you want with. You can use a tool like. Uh, um, you know, AdWeber or, you know, whoever, whatever email marketing system you want. But uh, with the hot lead follow-up, we, we run, we send the emails and text messages. So um, we're pounding these leads. We want these leads to know that you want their business and you're ready to earn their business for life. Um, if, depending on where you're at in your business, Maybe you're established. Um, maybe your business is going fine. Maybe you don't have a leads problem. Uh, if you do, I can help you solve that problem. If you are already established, but you just don't have um, good communication, or maybe, may, you know, I see this a lot. You have one guy doing Google Ads, one guy doing SEO, one guy doing your website. We do it all. So... Right here, if you go down and hit start here, this will take you to our registration page where if you complete that um, and schedule a meeting with me. Uh, we'll just sit down, look at your business. I'll give you my my uh, best advice possible that I can um, for you to at least take what, whatever your pain points are in your business and how you could solve those. And, you know, maybe I'll help you. Uh, with that journey and maybe not but no matter what you're going to walk away with some kind of value um, if you guys are interested in the CRM uh, I'm not ready to publish this yet so we would have to establish a relationship uh, through marketing whether it was um, SEO or Google Ads, and then we could get you on here. <clears throat> um, so here's that final screenshot. If you're a DIY guy, what I'm going to give you is the welcome in the email did not book sequence. So that's what we call the hot lead follow-up. So these are all the other follow-up sequences we have. Um, all different scenarios and triggers. Uh, if your software is sophisticated as ZenMade, I can create the triggers that just auto do this for you in the background and they fire off. So uh, customers rescheduled, bam, it goes. Job completed, bam, the review request goes. Um, new lead in, bam, uh, the sequence starts following up. So, uh, you know, I hope that that you guys understand the importance of collecting your database. So those leads that came through Facebook Messenger, those leads that come through your email, um, the leads that are in your Google My Business profile, and create a sales process around them. Open up an Excel spreadsheet and start pounding these names in if you've got to. Um, but collect. Ask everybody for their phone number, for their cell phone. Ask every single person. Ask every single person for their email address, their best email address. Um, you know, get their name and number. All this information you got to get for the quote, anyways. And if they're going to schedule, you're going to ask for it. So when they call, bam, that should be the first thing that you get from them. Start building that database, finding one central place to put all those leads, and then build a system just like this around the follow up process for your sales. Um, whether they become a sale that month, that week, that day, six months or a year, you don't know. Um, but what you do know is they're inquiring on your service and you should do something with that. And that costs you money to acquire them, time and energy to deal with them. So get the best you can out of them. You know, with, with Ginger's campaigns, they're great for, uh, uh, gift certificates, right? So uh, here's a holiday, blast your list. Um, maybe that guy doesn't ever buy from you. Maybe you've done everything you possibly can with your due diligence and following up with them and they just didn't buy. But guess what? 
He wants to get his mom one when you blast him that gift certificate email on Valentine's Day. Hey, mom, I love you. Um, here's a clean house on me. You know, th those things do well. They really do well. I mean, we have that wrapped up in here as well, too. Um, so, again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to PM me on Facebook. Uh, you can add me as a friend. I, I don't bite. Um, even if you feel like you're not ready for my level of service. It's worth a phone call. I had a phone call today with a lady who said, you know, she's been following me for years and she's been meaning to talk to me, but she's stuck in her business. And, you know, I've been around the block a long time. I, I can get you to, to 20, 30,000 based on my advice without selling you anything. Um, I don't need another customer. I'm perfectly fine. My business is healthy. It has been healthy and it thrives. It feeds myself, it feeds my employees, and it feeds my clients who pay me to, to generate business for them. So, so I'm not out here grasping. You don't see my ads on Facebook because I, I just don't need them. Um, you know, we're, we're heavily referral based and, and all I want to do is add value to your business, whether you pay me or not. You know, I've, I love this industry. I love the people in it. And I wish you guys much success. Let me know if I could help you. Thanks.